All right, so let me talk about the difference between undefined and null. Both seem to be non-values, right? They're not values. They indicate an absence of a value. So what's the difference between the two and when do you use what? So the best analogy that I can give for uh, undefined versus null is uh, when you're filling a paper form. Right? So let's say you're filling a paper form as a bunch of fields and a bunch of text areas for you to write on. Now, if you uh, if you get a paper form that somebody else has already filled, right, and you look at a field which is blank, how do you know if that field is not something that the user saw and wrote something on, or if that field is something that's not applicable to the user? Okay, so let's say somebody has filled the form and they're giving it to you, and the field is empty. Does it mean that they've actually read the question and they don't have an answer, or did they not read the question at all? Right? In order to differentiate between these two categories, what people typically do is when they have, uh, when they read a question and they don't have, an, you know, it's something that doesn't apply to them, the question doesn't make sense to them or it doesn't fit their particular uh, situation, what they do is they write not applicable, right? So they write n slash a or na or not applicable or something like that. So the not applicable value is something that indicates that the user has actually provided some answer there and the answer is a non-value, okay? This is when compared to an empty field where the value hasn't been provided, okay? So keep that analogy in mind when you think about the difference between undefined and null. When a variable is undefined, that means that the value has not been entered. It's an empty form field, right? Nothing has been put into the variable. And this is what happens by default in JavaScript. The minute you declare a variable and you don't assign it a value, it gets the value of undefined. That means that the variable hasn't been touched, hasn't been allocated with a value. However, if you want to assign a value which is a non-value, let's say you wanna say, this is not an untouched variable, I am allocating a value to it, but the value happens to be empty. The value is a non-value. That's when you explicitly assign the value null to it, okay? So let's say you have um, a variable, let's say I'm, you know, Assume, for instance, that I don't have a middle name, okay? And uh, let's say I'm creating a bunch of fields for uh, my first name, middle name, and last name. In the case of my middle name, it is a non-value. So rather than have uh, var middle name and then have it be undefined, in which case, if I were to give that variable to somebody else, they wouldn't know if, you know, I forgot to put the middle name in there or if I don't have a middle name. So in order to explicitly make it very clear to the other person that I do not have a middle name, I assign the value null to it. Okay, so I say middle name equals null. So when I hand over the middle name to some other piece of code, they will look at it and go, okay, it's not an undefined variable. So they have actually put a value in there called null. So this person does not have a middle name. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. This is one of those uh, confusing topics and there's a lot of questions asked about when to use what. So hopefully this was, uh, this was clear. And I do happen to have a middle name, by the way, just to clarify. All right, so, Moving on, these are uh, some of the primitive data types. These are the complete list of primitive data types actually in the ECMAScript 5 version of the specification. However, like I told you before, the latest version is ECMAScript 6. And uh, ECMAScript 6 comes with one other primitive type. There is a new primitive type added to the JavaScript language. And that type is symbol. I'm not gonna go into the details of this because like I said, I'm gonna keep this course restricted. I'm gonna restrict it to uh, ECMAScript 5 because that's the most supported version across browsers as of today. But I should just mention this so that you know, you know that it's there. This is something that's coming in ECMAScript 6. Symbol is kinda like an enumeration in uh, languages like C++ and Java. It's a bunch of values, a bunch of constants that, and a variable can be one of those values, right? So that's the symbol data type. So if you're interested, look it up. I'm not sure about the browser support for this one. I think there are some browsers which don't fully support it or it's not reliable, but uh, yes, feel free to explore it. This is one of the new data types, uh, primitive types that's coming up in uh, the newer version of JavaScript. 